Okay, let's start talking about channels. Now, layers are actually going to go in the channels. Channels are going to actually be input into your shaders. So before we get into layers, um, I kind of wanted to kind of show you some things about the channels first. Um, so first off, uh, I have three channels here. I bump, diffuse, and spec. Um, you can create new channels. All you have to do is hit this plus sign, and it will uh, ask you for a name. You can do the size, um, whatever you know, 8-bit, 32, or 16, um, the color space, uh, whether it's color or scalar. You can do file space, which is uh, normal, you know, a vector and vector flipped Y. And also you can choose whatever color for that. It's gonna, it's when, when you create a channel, it's going to come up with one layer. So whatever layer, that you, you know, whether it's 50% gray or, or whatever. Um, also, you can right-click add channel um, you also have your channel presets which is basically the same um, thing that comes up when you are creating a new project uh, you also can remove a channel you can convert a channel um, let's say you don't want it at 8 bit you want it at 16 or 32 um, you also can flatten it I kind of shy away from flattening um, a particular channel um, what I generally do is copy right click copy and then just left click paste and then just go back here and flatten and oh it takes us just a second and it will flatten as you see that's the flattened uh, version of it um this will convert it and then you also can hit that minus sign and it will remove your channel um as you see i have my current channel selected here um, also, you have information um, below about whatever particular channel that you are um, highlighted. You know, your size, bit depth, whether it's a color or scalar, and then the file space. Um, as you see on the right-hand corner, on the right-hand side of the channels, you see like this little container here. If you left-click that, that's actually going to show what layers that you have in that particular channel. Now, if you don't want this to uh, automatically hide like it just did, um, all you have to do is hit this little icon up here. And then you can dock it, you know, wherever, and dock it over there, or, or actually, you know, put it on the second screen. All right. And then on the export end of things, you can um, export your current channel. Let's say you want to do some, uh, you know, tweaks or some things within Photoshop and then bounce it back to Mari, well, this is exactly what you would do. You export current channel, and then, um, oh, let me see. All you have to do is name it, and we will get further into this portion of it, um, of using Photoshop with Mari, kind of go back and forth with it. Um, so you have a current channel. You can do all channels, and then you can ex export everything. Uh, you can um, generally export flattened will be, uh, you know, let's say I want to export this particular te texture uh, to go into Moto or Maya or, or 3ds Max or whatever. You just uh, export the flattened channel. You can do all channels or you can export everything flattened. Um, you can import into your layer stack. You also can import into a new channel. So if somebody's already worked on some textures and you just want to, you know, start kind of create it and bring it in as a new channel, or you can uh, bring in individual layers um, into your layer stack, which some of that will get into going over layers. Others will get into going over the Photoshop end of things. Um, you can lock it, unlock it. You can lock all channels, unlock all channels, and then you got next and previous channel. Now here, the resize, you can resize your channel. Now let's say I don't want my, uh, I don't need my spec to be 2K. Let's say I can get away with, uh, you know, 512. What you have to do is left click that and it will come up with this. You can resize all or just that particular channel. Okay, which as you see it changed uh, from 2K to 512. And then you have your snapshots. Um, snapshots are sort of like uh, restore points for uh, your textures. So from there, let's go ahead and dig into the layering system.